traffic law enforcement and metro police were supporting SAPS and the public order police with the attack by a couple of hundred protesters on the private home of what we believe to be an official from the Department of Forest, uh, Forestry and Fire, um, Fisheries uh, who was blamed for the policing um, actions by SAPS the night before. Uh, and what exactly transpired there, you will have to get from SAPS. Um, but it um, is alleged that that led to the, uh, the, 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 the criminal actions that followed this morning. Uh, Mr. Smith, News 24 are today running an article. They're citing you. Uh, they spoke to you earlier for comment. Uh, they said that the residents of Hout Bay are apparently, and I'm reading the article as is, uh, they're upset about circumstances surrounding the apparent death of one suspected poacher. What can you tell me about that? That's what we were told on site today by other residents. As I said, I can't uh, completely confirm it, mm. um, but we were told that the protest action stemmed from the death of a poacher uh, uh, during uh, the preceding night uh, with policing operations. You will have to get the full detail from the South African police on that. Uh, but either way, the criminal actions that followed this morning are just incoherent in terms of its response in that the real losers here will be local residents whose jobs depend desperately on those factories and on the tourism trade surrounding that harbour, all of which is being affected by these recurrent uh, illegal actions. Um, and we've already had, uh, had meetings with the, the businesses and people whose jobs there very much depend on the ongoing tourism appeal of Hout Bay, and that is being negatively affected. Uh, help me understand, Mr. Smith, about the poaching uh, situation as far as fisheries uh, in Cape Town is concerned. Obviously, the uh, Western Cape government uh, wants to put an end to the poaching. Uh, give me a sense of how government handles uh, the ongoing poaching and how you're going to prevent something like this potentially spilling over again. So you must understand that dealing with the poaching is a national government competency. Um, the South African police and sand parks uh, are responsible for dealing with the Marine Resources Act. The city introduced a law enforcement unit to support them, uh, the marine unit. They've had some good busts this last few months, um, but it is a, a very long coastline. You've got 309 kilometers of coastline uh, to patrol. And the problem with the dynamic around Hart Bay is that every time there is any kind of policing action, and I, I don't want to comment on any death that may have resulted, uh, but even on any other policing action, there is always a very violent retaliation from people allegedly involved in the poaching actions. And that has the consequence of, of trying, I presume, to deter police from taking further such actions and effectively turning it into a no-go for, for the police. And in as much as that is not possible, it has been difficult. And we've seen, I think, this year, uh, I can't give you the exact figure of how many such action, uh, retaliations we've had or violent actions we've had, but this is not the, the first.